What I'm about to tell you is nothing new to those of you who understand the references of mythical beings from fairy tales, and if that's the case then I recommend that you do not try this under any circumstances, and even if it's not the case, I still don't recommend you trying it. What I'm about to tell you is how to summon fairies, and although it may not sound so bad, I can assure you that it is indeed very dangerous, especially if something were to go wrong. But we'll get to that later. To perform the ritual, what you will need is salt, something made of iron to have around your neck, and an offering, such as jewelry made of gold or silver, or a bowl of fresh milk and honey. You might also need a bag of iron nails, but this depends on where the ritual takes place. Which brings us to where you're going to do the ritual. The ritual should be carried out in a forest, near a naturally formed ring shape, such as a number of fungi or trees that grow in a naturally formed ring, without any human planting or laying them that way. It doesn't matter what kind of forest it is, but the older it is, the greater the chance you have of getting your desired result. Now, if the natural ring shape is close to a stream or river, or something like that, that's when you'll need the bag of nails. Now, before you perform the ritual, it's probably a good idea to read up on the different beings that might be in the woods, in case one of them decides to come in place of fairies. Iron protects against most of them, but it doesn't hurt to be sure of your safety. The timing of the ritual is very important, because it must be done in the middle of summer at midnight, otherwise it will not work. To do so, you should go to your naturally formed ring. Make sure you're there a good time before 12 so that you can make your preparations. Select a location a short distance away from the naturally formed ring and pour salt in a circle around yourself, making it large enough so that no sudden movements will make the circle break, because breaking it would be bad. Wait until the clock is exactly at 12. If not already, place the offering in front of you, but outside the circle of salt. Close your eyes and say with a clear and confident voice, House of, your last name, but not your full name. Because then, they will have power over you, and then there's no way to protect yourself from it. Has come to bring a gift. If the gift is accepted, please show yourselves. If you've done everything right, and they accept your gift, you will see them the moment you open your eyes. They will be exactly as you imagined, but do not believe it. It's a disguise, a glamour, as it's also called. Using the salt reduces the power of the glamours, and should reduce the urge to go up and touch them. It may also be that you are a person who has the gift to see through glamour spells, and you will be absolutely terrified by what you see. If so, do not run. Do not run from them, because they will hunt you down and hurt you because you have insulted them. If by chance you manage to survive this far, you will receive an offer from the fairies. If it is anything to eat or drink, humbly refuse it, saying something self-degrading such as you are too unworthy to eat or drink something so royal and pure. Trust me, you will be doing yourself a great favor that way. After you've turned down their offer of food or drink, they will ask you to participate in a game of guess what. If you've never played the game before, it goes something like this. One must describe what he or she thinks of in one word, and the other will try and guess by asking different questions. It may sound simple, but be warned. Though fairies cannot tell lies, they're experts at bending the truth. If you've somehow managed to win the game, you will get a gift. If not, then the fairy will give you a mission that probably won't be too pleasant, to say the least. It is not time for you to say your farewells. Now you will really find out if you succeeded or not. Say the most humble goodbye you can, and then close your eyes. Turn around and step out of your circle of salt. Remember, keep your eyes closed the whole time. Once you've stepped out, you may now open your eyes. If the ritual functioned as it should have, and you've done all the things right, then you should be able to get out of the woods unhindered. If you perform the ritual near a stream, you might see a beautiful white horse in front of you. Do not look at it, throw the bag of nails in the creek and run for your life as you've just met the brook horse, also known as a kelpie, and your life is in danger. Right now it doesn't matter if you've managed to summon the fairy or not. Just run, and don't look back, just run. 
If you fail the ritual, at first, all will seem like you succeeded. But as you try to leave the forest, it will begin to become cold and threatening. The trees will seem to move, and you will start hearing terrible sounds behind you. You should run and keep a firm grip on the iron objects you have around your neck. You will feel thousands of tiny claws and teeth burrow into your skin and hands with unnaturally long fingers grabbing hold of your legs. Just keep running. Do not lose the iron objects you have around your neck for as long as you have it. You will have a chance to survive. If you drop it, they will take you to their home where they will do unimaginable things to you until all that's left to you is your screams of pain and fear. Fairies are not friendly creatures. Remember that. Oh, and if you do decide to summon them, Good luck.